This is day 99 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. I'm currently rated 1932 and I'm versus seeing someone rated 1922 and I'm playing the ready opening. So I need to blitz out all of the opening moves uh, as fast as possible in order to win this game. So that's what I'm going to do. Probably going to push uh, D3 on my next move and then just move my knight to D2. And... Um, there's there's a lot of moves I could play, but I just kind of play the exact same uh, the exact same way. So just pushing my uh, a pawn and then c4, and then maybe I'll push my h pawn. I might move my queen to c2. I might castle kingside. Uh, I might try try and even push uh, d4, although it's a little it's a little risky. Maybe moving my queen to c2, defending my bishop first would be smart. My opponent strikes. Uh, on the left side of the board. So I could take this, but I don't want to do that. I kind of just want to move my queen, but then he'll probably take, and then I take, and then his rook might be kind of active. So I'll have to take a moment to think. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to take this, and uh, once he takes, push this pawn, opening up my bishop diagonal. And um, and I, I think taking with um, with the knight would be the best move. Uh, so I'm, I'm threatening to win this pawn. He could take. I would then take with my bishop. And uh, I think my position looks okay. I just, I need to castle kingside and I need to develop my light square bishop to f3. Okay, my opponent decides to take. So I'm going to, I don't think I'm missing anything. He has this check, or sorry, no, he doesn't even have this check. My knight's here. Yeah, so I'm going to take. And uh, my next move is to probably castle. This pawn is now defended uh, but by his bishop. Okay, he decides to move his bishop attacking this pawn. I thought a much stronger move that he could have played would have been uh, developing his rook. I thought that looked very that looked very strong. So I could, the obvious move would be if I were to challenge his bishop and he takes, then maybe he would move his rook and then castle, but then his rook might get kind of active. But this, this bishop move does look kind of nice. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to play that. And I think he might take and then try and move his rook to a better square. And then if I were to castle, I still have to kind of, I'm not really sure what I'm going to play after this, but I, I definitely need to challenge his, his bishop. Okay, he takes. So I could take with my knight, which looks okay, because if he were to go here, then I could then challenge. But taking with the queen also looks kind of nice. I'm really not sure, because if I were to take with the queen and then... He moves his rook, and then I go here, challenging his knight. His knight takes, I take. His bishop were to take. His rook just still, it's hard for me to stop his rook from getting here. So I kind of want to take with the knight. Yeah, I'm going to take with the knight. Uh, I just, I feel like I need to uh, get this rook here as fast as possible. Um, not now, because uh, he would then win this pawn, but in the future when he when he tries to occupy this file. Because this, this rook move is very, that looks very obvious to me. I would say that that's probably the best move. And then I would just, I'm thinking of going here, takes, takes, move his queen. I go here, his rook challenges my queen. I might be, I might be actually down a little bit. Um, It, it feels, I feel like he's getting, he, he gets his rook here very fast. Okay, but instead he gives me this check. Um... I, I don't think that works though, because I can just go here and he can't. And then he would just have to move his queen, but that also fixes my pawn structure at the same time. I guess maybe he's trying to. Honestly, I have no idea what he's trying to do. I'm going to go here. He, maybe he could go here. Then I could probably take. He takes with his rook. Um, but even if he doubles his rook, I can probably still defend this pretty easily. Maybe not though, if he challenges my bishop. But he just decide, he decides to play something different. So, so I could castle, or I could move. Actually, no, I need to. Uh, I need to castle, and I probably need to. Move, I might need to move my bishop back to defend this pawn. Okay, he decides to attack my bishop. That looks like a very incorrect move. If I were to sacrifice, um, that just doesn't look good at all. So definitely. Uh, Sacrificing doesn't uh, doesn't work. If I were to def moving my bishop back, defending this pawn looks extremely important because I need my I need this rook to be here, but I can't move it there if this pawn's hanging. So 
So I'm going to defend this pawn, and uh, I need to move my queen. My queen is in a terrible spot, so my queen needs to get moved up one square. But then, actually, maybe not maybe not this square because then his knight would attack my uh, queen. And he still decides not to occupy the open file. That's very surprising to me. Like that move seems, this move seems um, not good. Just it doesn't look good at all. Um, and now I'm thinking of occupying the open file because this pawn is defended. And if he ever challenges, then moving my queen somewhere. And then if he takes, the rooks are connected. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to think too long. Um, he, he can't push this pawn here because I can, I have two attackers there at all times. So it just, his, I don't know, it just, this rook move looks horrible. Uh, that, that looks like a good move. He needs to challenge my rook. And then I'm thinking of moving my queen so that the rooks are connected. I'm just not really sure where to move my queen. Maybe, uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking to b3 is a good move because maybe I could, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just go to b3. Not going to think too long. He does have this weird rook move if I were to take and his pawn takes defended by his queen. But then I can counterattack. I don't know. This this rook move looks actually... Uh, that looks kind of good, but then I could maybe rerouting my knights. And then he would take. So so yeah, this th that this can't work. He decides to take. I'm going to take with my rook. So it looks like he's going to challenge my rook, and that's what he does. If I were to take, his queen takes, and I could go here, threatening this check. Um, and then he could easily move his uh, queen defending against that. And and then and then I'm not sure what I would play uh, after that. It doesn't, it doesn't look like I have really any moves after that. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to take this. And uh, I'm going to move my king. So this looks like a very odd move, but I, th I I think later in the game, my king needs to be out of all checks. So I need to push this pawn. And then I also need to maybe move my knight and then and then push the pawn. I want my king to be safe before I make, before I make this pawn push, because this is a very obvious move, trying to push my pawns down the board, but I just want to make sure my king is safe. So I'm going to do that by pushing g3, and then I need to protect my knights. Um, and then maybe I can, I don't know, I just, I need my, I need my king to be safer. Okay, so this is a very obvious move. If I push this pawn, he wins my knight. So I'm thinking of, I'm kind of thinking of going here and uh, threatening, or sorry, not threatening this because it's defended. So this move actually doesn't really do anything. Actually, I've changed my mind a little bit. I think I need to... I think I need to push this pawn. And I'm not going to push this yet because that would I would lose my knight. Okay, he decides to take. If he moves his knight here, I have this check. I don't have the check now because the knight defends. But this is a very obvious move, trying to move his knight, attacking my pawn. So maybe this check, bishop blocks. Um, There's like some weird... There's like some weird sacrifice. I, th I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, he goes for a queen trade. If I were to take his queen, his knight takes. And it uh, looks kind of equal, but I do have this pass pawn. I could give him this check. His queen could still block. But maybe having his knight here is actually better for me. And then I could try pushing. I think I'm winning. I could actually try pushing this pawn instead of doing that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to push. I have to be careful, though. I'm going to push this pawn. I need my I need this pawn to be down the board. And uh it's a little dangerous cuz now my this is pinned but I have this check and then and then maybe in the later in the game I can get a queen trade cuz the pawn will be close to promoting. Um he does have he does have these weird threats that I have to watch out for. Okay, he moves his knight. I wasn't really expecting that move. Um I'm going to give him this check and I'm not sure what he can play here. Okay, my opponent resigns. Uh, so now my rating is 1940. I played with a 96.3% accuracy. My opponent played with an 87.5% accuracy. So my rating is now 1940. This is the highest my rating has ever been. I'm simply, I'm just simply better. 
Um, that's that's just why I, it's so high now. And my percentile is 99.6 and a high of 1940. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.